What is Rose Hill like? You know, I played there as, as a coach there a few times. It's a tough place to play, first and foremost. It's uh, unique. You know, you don't have many of those, uh, you know, facilities anymore uh, around and loud and uh, old and traditional and, uh, you know, makes, makes for a unique setting, you know, for a basketball game. And uh, I think it was, is it 1925 it was built or something like that? I mean, it's, um, you know, there's very few of those places left. Minnesota's like that a little bit. And, and uh, um, you know, just some great venues and up close. The fans are right on the court, you know, just a unique kind of place. It'll be unique for our young guys. I guess bouncing off that, this is the third time you play Fordham, but it's the first time you play at Rose Hill. What's different about, you know, a true road game as opposed to a neutral site like you play them in Madison Square Garden? Yeah, I mean, a lot of things are different. It's their home court. It's their referees, Atlantic 10. Um, you know, there's a lot of, lot of differences when you play and someone else has the comfort. You know, road games are tough at any level. And... Uh, He's a really good coach. They have talented young guys. They're six and two. They're off to a really good start, and they shoot the three as well as anybody. So you know, as much as the venue causes problems, the the team too, you know, causes problems. So, to the last three, uh, three games, you guys, two of them around the road. What did you learn about about your team? You know, our team, you know, evolving. But I learned, you know, playing, you know, two of the best teams in the league, uh, most experienced teams in the league. Um, we played, you know, 25 good minutes, you know, but it's a 40-minute league that we're in, especially when you're playing teams with, you know, um, Hap is an All-American, you know, with, with those level of talent, you really got to, you know, play a great 40 minutes. But, you know, still learning a lot about our team. Shaq Carter, a nice, you know, uh, addition the other day, you know, finding his way in practice, doing a real good job of, of adding to our roster. And, you know, so we're... Uh, uh, you know, still figuring them out a little bit, but uh, you know, these guys are doing more and more things to be on the floor, which I which I like. Speaking of Shaq, you know, you give him the biggest role he's had all season, and he responds. Just what did you think you got out of him, and what do you expect to get out of him? You know, moving forward. Yeah, I mean, I think it's like any. All these kids are, you know, playing the first time. You know, so game seven, games eight, games into their careers. Um, you know, he's practicing better. He's being more comfortable with the system. Um, he's got a great motor, anyways, real coachable. So I think he's done a good job learning from film. And, um, you know, when you play in this league with all the big bodies, you know, too, certain games, to, you know, certain guys can play more minutes in. And he's certainly going to be able to help us in, in the Big Ten, you know, that way. So happy. And, and other guys, too, are figuring their roles out, too, and getting better and better at them. So uh, hopefully we keep evolving. Peter Kiss, double digits in the last three games during that tough stretch. What do you like about what he's giving you as he's getting more comfortable? Yeah, I mean, Pete, you know, getting more comfortable with his role, you know, and I like, you know, he's getting better defensively. So, uh, you know, I know he could score and everyone will look at those numbers, but I am just look at the advances he's made defensively. And so he's starting to realize he's playing terrific guards, everyone Langford to, you know, the guys he has to face in these games are, are terrific. So, um, you know, I like his defensive gains. I really have, and hopefully he'll continue to, um, you know, gain on the defensive end of the floor. I was just going to ask, do you feel a little bit better about going on the road in this sort of environment, having been to Wisconsin, Miami? This is a game that probably can trip up a young team. No, I'd like to play right here at the rack every yeah. game I can. So. But if you have to go to Florida. Yeah, I mean, you know, experience. whenever you play on the road, it's, you know, road brings a whole new set of obstacles. So, uh, um, you know, you have to go and you have to play well and you have to fight the crowd and the refs and the other team and, you know, it just brings a whole other wave of obstacles. But, you know, certainly in this league that we're in, there's a lot of obstacles anyways. This is another game that's, you know, again, again against a well-coached team that, you know, going to prove many obstacles for us. Kind of going off of that, <clears throat> given the way you guys played in the past uh, two road games, does it give you guys, just give you confidence that you can not only win just at the rack, but, you know, you can win on the road as well? Well, I mean, you know, we learned a lot about our team. You know, we've played three games in a, in a six-day stretch, you know, and two of them on the road. So you get a lot of travel. We had flights, you know, delayed, canceled. We hit every, you know, bit of adversity that you can hit on, a, you know, for our two road games. So, um, you know, you feel better. They played through some adversity. We were able to compete for 25 minutes, 30 minutes, and, and those kind of high-level games, and you hope that you can continue, you know, forward to get to that 40 minutes of, you know, playing great basketball. For the next month, you play once a week on Saturday. What are you able to do during the week that you have this extra time to prepare and work with your yeah, team? Yeah, you know, it's great to have extra time to prepare. You know, it's also great, you know, this is exam time coming up. Like, they need extra time to prepare. I mean, Miles is 
taking an unbelievable course load and, and these other guys are you know studying you hope their their bodies can get a little rest because it's been a you know grueling stretch so you hope those things and, and plus spend a little more time watching film and um, getting longer practices implementing some new things that we need to implement moving forward so you hope you can do a little bit of everything but they, they need some time academically too so it's kind of nice to get a little break and, and they can focus on those things does the 230 time matter at all does it change anything yeah i mean no uh, no i mean you know whatever time they put on the schedule is when we play so i think tv dictates most of that so. rotation getting settled like where you guys are at as far as um that yeah i mean i you know again you know foul tr trouble dictates that you know some guys have been sick so sickness always and guys are banged up so you know that's it but the matchups you know sometimes so it's that's a, a lot of different things thrown into that one question you know tell me we're playing and I'll tell you you know a little bit more what the rotation may be like but you know matchups do dictate a lot of that stuff health uh, you know way guys are playing uh, but I think what, what what you've seen is that everyone that's checked into a game can can help us so I like our depth I feel comfortable with all the guys I, I don't flinch to put anybody in you know that's available and, and ready to play so you know I feel good about that I think we've come a long way in that area Caleb McConnell, he's playing, like, he's played better of late. What have you seen of him so far? Yeah, no, I like Caleb. You know, he's in the gym a lot. You know, he saw, you know, he was great against Michigan State, and uh, you know, Gio's been getting a lot more foul trouble lately. So um, he's got to be ready to play. A lot of confidence, six, six, seven, shoots it, you know, and does a good job. So you know, I have confidence in him as I do. Obviously, the other day, Shaq Carter hadn't played much, and he played a lot of minutes. Like confidence in him too, and. When those guys have gotten their minutes, they've done what they do in practice, which is a pretty good job.